growing up, I used to hear adults say, this person or that person has the patience of Job. At first, I didn't know who Job was. But still, I could tell by their tone and catching part of the story that the person involved was incredibly patient in a challenging situation. Many times it was said about a husband or a wife or a teacher. And as I became older, I became aware of the life of Job and his faithfulness to God. I started to understand how people of faith could handle adversity. Each time I reread and reflect on Job's life, I become more impressed with his perseverance in following God, despite all that was taken from him, possessions, family and friends, health, really everything but his life. Later in my early adult years, I learned that my grandfather, my dad's father, used to incorporate the book of Job into his English history classes. I really wished that while he was here on earth, I had asked him why. Why did he choose this book of the Bible as he taught the history of England? What was it that he saw in the human condition, or even more personally, in his life and those of his students that he connected to Job? After speaking with my father, I can only imagine that in part, it had to do with my grandfather identifying with Job in relation to his own difficult childhood and teenage years, during which his family experienced great upheaval. But at the same time, he was awarded academic scholarships that allowed him to be introduced to God's saving presence in the world. Whatever the reason, I believe that we can all grow, that we can all teach our young people some crucial lessons from the story of Job. The first one is that no matter how faithful to God we, did, we aspire to be, no matter how hard we try to be faithful, there will always be challenges to our ability to believe. I'm sure we can all come with, up with some examples of how we could be disillusioned by members of the church. There could be loss of a home or work, or even more challenging, the loss of loved ones, especially those who have inspired us in our faith. But whatever we face, Job shows us how to remain steadfast and how to understand how he did it. Secondly, Job helps us to see who God is in relation to us, his creation. Job doesn't confuse God as an equal. He doesn't see God as weak. Instead, Job emphasizes the necessity of God in our, in our lives and our dependence upon him. Job humbly sees who we are in relation to God. And he highlights God's goodness in caring for each one of us. And lastly, we see in Job an ability to remain faithful, even during extreme suffering. I'm sure right now that some of you listening to this message are having Job-like moments. It might be personal. It could be family suffering. Whatever you're experiencing right now, no matter how hard it may seem, Job's life shows us that we too can persevere. My brothers and sisters, as this day progresses, I would like to invite you to join me in asking God for the patience, the perseverance, and the faith of Job. And if you're blessed with young family members, please tell them about how Job is our role model in keeping our eyes fixed on God, no matter what comes in this day. May God bless you and your families this holy day, and let us aspire that when others look at us, they too may say, they have the patience of Job.